tell you one thing. I'm very, very excited to get out of this noise. You know, walking for two weeks in the mountains, you get used to these silence. And here's just cars honking. I'm very excited to get out and continue the trail after my first rest day. Here we go. Hello, hey. So today is currently day 18 and it's my second day hiking solo. Um, I was running to the city, the last city in Andorra. Uh, I'll be leaving Andorra this evening probably or tomorrow morning um, because I needed to buy camping gas and I made it just like 15 minutes before the store closes because the store closes at 1 p.m. Yeah. Like when does a store close at 1 p.m.? I guess it's normal for Spain, but you know, from where I come from, gear stores usually close at I don't know, eight, maybe the latest, earliest. I mean, maybe usually at nine or ten or something. But yeah. Uh, anyway, I made it. I came to this bar. I got some beer, coffee. I'm charging up my electronics. Um, yeah, and this evening I'll be going up, uh, up to a higher. Part. Right now I'm at 1400 meters and I'll be going up to 2400 meters this evening. So I ended up coming here to that uh, refugio and I still had about 700 meters to go up there I think or somewhere there and I started doing it just because it's only 5 p.m. right now and yeah I went up about 200 meters and I think I'll turn back and camp at that refugio down below just because I don't have the energy my head is spinning a bit I don't know I think I 
I walk too much and just the sun has been beating down the whole day and I walked a lot yesterday so yeah I'll just go down stay the night over there and do the 700 meter a bit dangerous ascent in the morning when there's no risk of thunderstorms when I have more energy and so on so yeah let's go down These cows are trying to steal my food all the time. I just shoo them away, then they come back, I shoo them away, then they come back, I shoo them away a little bit further, then they come back after 20 minutes. They're relentless. So before coming here, a few German guys warned me that here is potentially one of the more dangerous parts of GR11. And I think they meant this one, maybe. Uh, I mean, it's not that dangerous, but it can be a bit dangerous. Like there's, there are these smaller rocks and then there's like a snow field down below. So I guess if you'd slip, you could slip pretty far. I don't know. But you know, if you have trekking poles, if you have good shoes, uh, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, so I'll just continue walking up there. I know they're unhealthy, but damn, they're delicious and cheap, and they have a lot of calories. A lemon cupcake is all you need in a hot day.
I don't know about you, but this looks fucking amazing. Yeah, it is. It's currently day number 20 on the GR11 and it's currently day number 4 when I'm hiking solo without my girlfriend. When I'm walking alone, when I have these boosts of energy, I can just walk and walk and continue walking. I also feel that I have more energy now, I can walk more, I need less breaks in between, less water breaks, less just breaks in general. Yeah, I'm just moving faster. So, when I first started here, I thought maybe it would take me like 45 to 50 days even to finish the GR11, but now it seems that it will be probably closer to 40. Yeah, so, I don't know if that's good or bad. I wouldn't mind staying here for 50 days. I'm here to enjoy the views, enjoy the nature, enjoy everything. But yeah, tonight I'm staying up here in this pass. Uh, it's at about... 1800 meters the weather is supposed to be good otherwise i wouldn't be making my tent up here because of you know thunderstorms and so on uh, but yeah the weather is going to be very nice so yeah it's pretty safe for me to camp here These the ones that have the rope still standing on them. But it's a very, very interesting place. Imagine just a whole town just leaving. <laughs> of course, it happened gradually. But uh, yeah, it's definitely a bit not creepy, but uh, interesting. It's cool to see these deserted places. There's like this whole smaller road that's going down here. By the way, is it uh, allowed to swim in uh, these lakes or not? Okay. So it's currently Monday, day 22nd. So I've been out on the trail for three full weeks, which is a lot actually. But I'll be still on the trail for three more weeks, so maybe a bit less. And yeah, it feels good. <laughs> it feels good. The views are amazing. I have much more energy now. I'm doing much more kilometers per day. So the last few days, uh, the trail went through kind of these dry hills up lower in altitude. 
and it was pretty hot and uh, right now I left a spot it's about 12 a.m. and I'm starting this section that goes up high up to the higher mountains and basically it will be up there for the next four or five days or something at least at least I know I won't be able to buy some groceries for the next uh, at least four days so I stocked up a lot of food my backpack is pretty heavy right now I'm also drying everything right now uh, you won't be able to tell but behind the camera my tent my clothes everything here's my sleeping pad everything is drying in the Sun at least it dries quickly but yeah yesterday I stayed in a campsite and uh, I had some pretty serious rain and uh, yeah everything is a bit wet uh, you know the tent was is is waterproof but uh, it soaks up a lot of condensation especially if it's been raining outside so yeah there was a little bit of uh, water dripping down from the walls from the inner walls so everything is just a little bit wet you know not wet but maybe damp or something but yeah uh, 30 minutes in the sun fixes this so that's not a big problem 